breaking up somewhat tomorrow. We'll call it mostly cloudy, so there will be some breaks of sunshine. But when you look back on the other side of the lake, a little bit of precip over there, uh, but really nothing until we get into late Thursday night for us. So we get through tomorrow morning. In fact, during the daylight hours, completely dry. And it's really not until about 11 p.m. through early parts of tomorrow morning. And that quick area of showers moves through. It's gone by the time we wake up on Friday morning. And then after the rain moves through, not only do we get the sunshine, unfortunately, we get some pretty brisk winds. So temperatures are going to take a little bit of a dip on the other side of that cold front. And with those winds out there, we are going to know it. But tomorrow, uh, we will be seeing our warmest temperatures that we'll get to enjoy at least until next week. So let's check out those highs. This is the good stuff. 55 in Detroit. 56 is what we'll call for an official high temperature. And remember, those winds coming out of the south and those lakes are still relatively cool. So that's going to keep these east side numbers just a little bit cooler than what we're going to see further inland. So south zone here in Monroe County, similar numbers here, mid 50s towards the lake. You get further inland into Lenaway County. And that's where we may touch 60 degrees in a couple spots. We've got it there in Morency, but generally we're thinking 59 for most of the south zone. West zone, further off to the west, that's where we'll get the upper 50s. Closer here to 275, a string of 57s from Clarkston down to Canton. And in our north zone, still a little bit of an impact from the lakes here, 50 to 51 in Port Huron. And then mid 50s generally for most of the north zone for those high temperatures tomorrow. Yes, that is going to be our warmest temperature that we'll see until next week, but we're going to hold off the rain again until Thursday night. For the rest of tonight, mostly cloudy skies and not as cold with the clouds around. That's going to keep temperatures a little bit milder than what we woke up to this morning. And then those numbers over the weekend, just a little bit below average there in the low 40s. We will get plenty of sunshine Saturday and Sunday. That's the flip side. We'll carry it into Monday and a string of 50s shows up. Then we're looking at rain on Tuesday, but no big headaches. Yep. Nothing nope. to worry about.